You have the Blue View 2, and make sure we're talking about the same phone. It looks like this. It has a little oval on the back with the camera and flash, a little tiny vent in the bottom, and you've heard that you can make your phone go faster. It's true. It's easy. It's going to feel complex because we have to go deep into the software of the phone. And what's neat is that if you don't like how it works, after I show you how to do it, you can just set it back to the way it was before. So let's learn. Okay, so I have two Blue View 2s. And the one on the left, I'm going to leave and not change it so we can compare to what the phone looks like when we're all the way done making changes. So let's make the changes. So have your phone powered on. Let's get into settings, which most people scroll up once to get all of their apps in alphabetical order. And settings is right. Oh, it's moving on me. All right, as soon as it's done loading. All right, now back into back into our apps, touch settings. Inside of settings, we're going to scroll. Actually, let me turn off. Let me turn off the internet. All right. All right, now let's get into settings. Touch settings. Scroll all the way down. You're going to see about device. Inside of about device, we're going to scroll all the way down until you see this build number, okay? At the build number, all we're gonna do is touch the word build number, or this block, seven times. One, two, three, four. That message should come up. Five, six, seven. You are now a developer. You should see that message, okay? Now we're gonna back out one time, we should be back inside of settings and now right above about device touch system. Okay, inside system go to advanced and now you should see developer options right here. Touch developer options and the developer options should automatically be toggled on. Okay now inside of developer options be careful what we touch. Okay, If you accidentally touch something just press cancel but we want to scroll way down and we're looking for, see how this says debugging? We're looking for the title called drawing. That one's called networking. Next one should be input and now drawing. And there we are. At drawing, we're interested in these three, Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. Now, it looks like somebody uh, has already changed these to 0.5. Usually the default is one. Let's see on this one if it's one. Stand by. All right, I brought it up in this window. The animation scale is one by default. So this is a used phone, so maybe somebody changed the things. So let me show you how to change them. Okay, it should show up as one X on yours. So if we touch Windows animation scale, this is going to give us a series of options. The bigger the number, the slower your phone runs, or the slower the animations run. I like some, so since the default is 1, a lot of places you read say, hey, just cut it in half, put it on 0.5. I actually like my phone to run with no animation, so I turn them off. Again, if you, you can try 0.5 on yours, and if you want to see what uh, off is like, and then you don't like how it runs off, and let's do the third one. Then you can just come back in to the developer options and change it. So you can see here, let's double check Windows Animation Scales off, off, and off. And these are all one. So let's go back to home. And now watch how different the phone runs. Now all I'm going to do is bring up the phone. Actually, I'm making a phone call. Now I want you to pay special attention to what it looks like when I touch the icon. You kind of saw that software open this way. Now watch it. I think this one slides down to close. You saw that slides down to close. Now watch what happens on the one that we turn the animation off. It just turns right on. And then when we turn it, when we back out of it, it turns right off. Now let's do it side by side. I'll try to touch them at the exact same time. And then I'll try to close them at the exact same time. Your eyes saw what my eyes saw. This one just blinks right off. Now let's bring up Messenger. Faster, faster. All right, I don't. Let's see if this does anything. I don't. I don't need any of those. Okay, 
So now watch what happens when I close. This one will blink off instantaneously, and this one will slide down. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's do one more. Let's do camera. Camera on. Oh, this one came on a little bit faster. After resetting the phones, it, it, it might need a second. All right, let's close them and see what closing them look like. Blinked right off. This one took a minute to slide down. Let's do let's do camera one more time now that they both had a chance to turn that software on. And then and then close them. Seem like this one was a little bit faster on the camera. But you, you can experiment with the different apps, especially if you you're making phone calls, you're making videos, you're swapping apps. One that when you make those turn those animations off. Your phone will feel crisper, it'll feel snappier, it will feel faster, and your phone will be that, you know, a degree more enjoyable to use because you've made it faster. And again, if you don't like it, just switch it back. All right, that's the lesson on making your Blue View 2 faster. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, and if you need help uh, changing your SIM chip or your SD card, watch this video next.